It is a sweet and serene kimono parasol type debuting from the days of Metara 8 as an Ori meta, no less. It is JGS0 Hikara Mate, coming to the game with a kit of Trap Clear, Repair, Gatling, Float Legs, and the leg ability of Mirage, which grants a conceal effect to self when charging Metaphorce. Now, of course, anyone who's played Metarot 8 or even Metarot 9 will know this sweet and serene model very, very well and what she's capable of. It's kind of a mixed supporter, um, pretty much at face value if you look at her without actually digging any deeper to what she does offer. Trap Clear is, is a healing-based skill, but simply what it does is remove any negative traps placed against her, herself, or her allies on the field. This does include traps such as Disturbance, Shoot Trap, Melee Trap, Defense Trap, Foot, uh, foot Trap, anything in particular that could be served as passive aggression this essentially is what you use to remove it and negate any potential uh, negative effects thereof. Right Arm of Repair is a basic healing skill that will allow her to restore some lost HP to a damaged but not broken part to herself or an ally on the field. And then of course the left arm of Gatling and her only form of combat while in this mode um, is a basic shooting attack that gets a that is a scattered AoE, meaning it will damage one part normally and then two others at random at one third of your total damage. So she is relatively decently armored across the board too, about 3,400 armor for the head, uh, 3,100 for her heal for her repair arm, but just shy of 3,000 for her left arm, and about 30, just shy of 3,500 for her legs. Honestly, is really nice. Uh, her stats are also pretty modest across the board too, nothing overly broken or overly powerful. Even if her even if her kit is just a little bit scattered for the most part, and I will touch on that in just a moment. Her leg stats also are pretty solid too, uh, with her legs having no, with, with, that, with having the ability, inability to hold any heavy parts will kind of make her a little tricky to use to a point since they are going to be so, since they are float legs, but her stats are also pretty solid across the board too, to, in some points. A base mobility of 760 is pretty nice, a pretty nice, uh, minimum sweet spot, probably, uh, probably upper compared to where you see on most other float legs that you'd want to be, so a pretty consistent leg overall. And the leg ability will also make it a little harder to actually kill her quickly because the mar because the conceal effect, of course, will buff your evade and then also make you immune to chain damage or pierce damage for one hit. Uh, immediately, uh, yeah, melee resist of six fifteen of uh, six uh, sixteen really isn't all that great. So she's gonna be having a lot of struggle when it comes to facing anyone up close and personal. A shoot resist of eleven ten, however, th does mean that from afar she can actually tank some pretty solid hits from out from incoming uh, shoot type attackers without it very easily crippling her. And with an evade of nine fifty six, not really too bad either. Um, especially tying the fact I should also mention that because it is a float leg, uh, she will get A rank across all terrains except cyber, which is S, which means that these stats will also go up by about ten percent or so, which actually make them just a little bit better across the board than what you see even currently. Hikara Mate also is capable of a meta change form, uh, where her kimono opens up into a pair of uh, Sakura Blue Wings, and her parasol also becomes more or less akin to a lightsaber, uh, for lack of a better term. And in this, mo and in this form, her, her kit also changes entirely to Sacrifice, Sword, Trap Clear, uh, Biped Legs, and the Dead or Alive Leg ability, which buffs all stats, minus armor, and heavy limit for every critical hit that Hikara Mate scores. Now, at this point, this is basically where Hikara Mate takes her overall supportive role uh, not less less so focused on combat and completely turns it out on its head. And in this mode, this is where she really pulls out all the stops in one way and another, quite literally. Drive A of Sacrifice is probably her most dangerous and the first we've ever seen of a sac of a meta change capable bot that it ha has sacrifice as a meta change form, which means in this form and while using it, Hikara Mate is guaranteed to go down um, upon the completion of her turn with this because it will eat all of her it will eat all of her remaining HP and she will cease function upon the completion of her attack. Um, however, with this being said, with her having a total base HP while in this form at about 12,000, uh, almost 13,000 in this case, means that she can pack on some really serious damage with this, especially as a reminder that Sacrifice can tie up to an additional half of your total remaining HP in terms of additional damage that it will cause. Drive B of Sword is a basic and conventional melee based skill, so generally something you can't go wrong with. It also has a very high success, heat, and cool stat and base power across the board and requires no CG to actually use, so this is something that you could definitely use over and over again uh, without really having to re rely on any of her supportive roles across the field, and even might make uh, setting up a medal for her just a little bit easier too. 
And then last but not least, Trap Care we have mentioned as well. It simply removes any negative ailments or traps placed against the, herself or her allies on the field. It also renders them in, uh, useless and removed. So, so fighters such as, say, Bad Hacker will be made now essentially useless. Biped legs also mean that she will get relatively solid and a little better balanced terrain coverage and better uh, better balanced stats as well in, in trade of having a more diverse uh, leg compatibility with the terrains. But in these stats, so let's do go over them a sec. Her mobility will go up just a little bit more than what it was originally at about 788, close to 800, which is just a little bit better than where she was before. But her melee resist, her shoot, but her melee resist and her evade go up big time with this one specifically. Her shoot resist at about 1129 doesn't really go up enough to really warrant enough to talk about it but her with her melee resist going up from about 600 to about 1421 means that she's definitely going to be a lot better in this form to be able to hold her own without anything really holding her back um whether that be up close and personal or from afar while still mitigating as much damage as possible and then of course her evade of 11 almost 1200 there will mean that even in this that in this form in particular she's even more agile than she was before which honestly will make her a little bit more viable in this form than it would be in her standard. That being said, as a pure set score, I do have to rate Hikara Mate a pretty solid 7 out of 10 for what she does offer. Um, not necessarily the fact that in her regular form she's going to be very handy or useful at all, aside from maybe an occasional repair if you absolutely need it, but her, but a lot of her big charm will be coming from having her transformed and using her as, as a dominant melee fighter. And in this case, especially someone you could use for all or nothing teams is like a last ditch effort kind of move, especially since she's got sacrifice in there in meta change form uh, for that extra high damage deal out at the cost of her going down with the opponent if she does manage to successfully knock them out. For that reason, as mixed parts, on the other hand, I do have to rate her lower at a 6 out of 10. Because as mixed parts, naturally with any other meta change capable bot, you do miss out on a lot of what makes Hikara Mate so useful or so powerful across the board. In this case, with her basic sword or even the last ditch effort sacrifice if you somehow decide to use so. Um, and in her regular mode, her kit is a little lower tier between basic trap clear, which is honestly very niche at best, uh, basic repair, which is okay, you know, at best as well, but not the greatest on the field, and then Gatling, which really isn't a super consistent form of damage on the field either. So if you are going to pull for Hikara Mate, she is absolutely one that you want to use as a mix, as a pure set more than a mixed one. This one in particular more than most other meta change bots where it doesn't necessarily make as much of a loss, but this one's more or less a requirement to use her as a pure set.